بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اینڈ ویلکم بیک ان ون آف دا پریویس سیگمنٹس وی سا ہو وی کین ایڈریس دا ٹرینڈ فیکٹر ان دا پاس ڈیٹا ٹو میک اے فور کاسٹ فار فیوچر ان انادر سیگمنٹ وی سا ہو وی کین ایڈریس سیزنلٹی ان دا پاس ڈیٹا ٹو میک اے فور کاسٹ فار فیوچر ناؤ اٹ از کوائٹ پاسبل دیٹ وی آر ہیونگ بوتھ ٹرینڈ اینڈ سیزنلٹی ان دا پاس ڈیٹا so we could have a situation like this where the demand is increasing over time but the product by nature is a seasonal product so we are having seasonal peaks like these uh, it is different than this case where the demand is stable as a whole uh, from time to time but we are having seasonal peaks because uh, the product is seasonal by nature so we had to address seasonality only here but here we have to address both both trend and seasonality so it could be a new product that is having an increase in demand with the passage of time or it could be a new variant of an existing product that is having increase in demand with the passage of time but by nature it is a seasonal product so we will see how we can address both trend and seasonality to to make a forecast for future uh, with the help of excel so here we are having the data for the past 2 years that is the data for uh, for the demand of a product for the past 24 months so first we have to calculate uh, the average of these uh, 24 months so the every demand average monthly demand will be equal to 93 in this case next we have to calculate average monthly demand or average seasonal demand so in this case season is a month so we have to take the average of past demand for january 18 that is 36 and january 19 that is 98 <clears throat> so the average of these two Uh, this 36 and 98 turns out to be 67 so this is the average of this 36 and this 98 similarly we have to take the average for february 2018 this 42 and february 2019 that is this 101 so we can simply drag so this is the average demand uh, for the 12 seasons or the 12 months and these values will be the same for uh, 12 months of 2019 as well so we can simply copy paste these values so we have calculated the average uh, monthly demand next we have to calculate seasonal index the so seasonal index is average seasonal demand divided by average of all seasons here it will be average monthly demand divided by average of uh, all 24 months so that will be equal to for the case of uh, january the 67 that is the average of uh, january 18 and january 19 divided by this average for all months all 24 months that is 93 so the seasonal index for january turns out to be 0.72 we can fix the cell containing the average of all 24 months the value of 93 in this case yeah, by pressing the f4 key and then we can simply drag to calculate the seasonal index from uh, january to december and notice that uh, seasonal index for january will be the same because we are taking the average of the same two values and same will be true for february as well next we have to calculate deseasonalized demand so that will be equal to actual demand divided by the seasonal index for that month so that turns out to be 50 for january uh, 2018 actual demand for february is 42 divided by the seasonal index of february so that turns out to be 55 for march it is 
56 divided by the seasonal index for mod that is 0.82. So the deseasonalized demand turns out to be 68. So you can uh, simply drag to calculate the deseasonalized demand for uh, the rest of the months as well. So we have calculated the deseasonalized demand. Now we have to find the intercept and slope. So intercept function can be used to calculate intercept. We need to uh, give the known y's. So that is the actual demand that we have actually deseasonalized in this case. So the known y's will be this deseasonalized demand and known x's will be uh, these month numbers. So that is the independent variable. So the intercept turns out to be 78.71. Next, we have to find the slope. So again, we have to uh, give known y's. So that is the demand. In this case, that is deseasonalized demand. And known x's are these month numbers. These 24 months. So the slope turns out to be 1.18. Next, we have to calculate linear trend line forecast. So that will be equal to A plus BX or intercept plus slope into month number. So this 78.71 plus uh, this 1.18 into 1 for January. So we can fix the cells containing the values of uh, intercept and slope. And then we can simply drag to calculate the linear trend line forecast for the rest of the months. And finally, we have to calculate forecast including trend and seasonality. So we have to calculate this uh, linear trend line forecast uh, by the seasonal index uh, to find the uh, forecast that is incorporating seasonal factor as well. That will be equal to this 80 multiplied by the seasonal index, so the adjusted forecast or the final forecast for January is 57 and we, we can drag for the uh, rest of the months as well. But basically we have to make forecast for 2020. Now we are not having the actual demand for 2020, uh, but we can copy these seasonal index values because based on the current data, they will be the same. And we can uh, actually uh, drag the uh, column for the deseasonalized demand that will turn out to be zero because we are not having the actual demand. And we can actually drag uh, the linear trend line forecast column because we are having both A and B as well as we are having this, these month numbers. So we can drag this column the fits column to calculate the forecast for uh, 2020. So th these are the final forecast values. Now, please notice that once we uh, get the actual demand values for 2020, uh, these forecasts may, uh, may change. For example, if the actual demand turned out to be uh, 120, so you could see that the sum of the forecast values have been updated. And similarly, once we come to know of the actual demand for February, so some values may adjust. So we are making this forecast on a rolling basis. And you can calculate the error, absolute error, error squared, and absolute percent error. And finally, corresponding mean absolute deviation, mean squared error, and mean absolute percent error values. Uh, if you have forgotten the formulas or are not clear about that, you can refer to the segment on measures of forecast error to calculate these values. So the basic process has been first to calculate the average of all seasons, in this case, uh, 24 months, then calculate the average of each season, and then average of a certain season divided by average of all seasons. And in this case, 
Average monthly demand divided by average of all months gave us the seasonal index. Actual demand divided by seasonal index give, gives us deseasonalized demand using the regression equation or equation of the line. Uh, we can calculate the forecast using trend and then multiply that forecast with the seasonal index of the corresponding month gives us the seasonally adjusted forecast. So we have considered both trend and seasonality to make the forecast uh, in this case. Thank you.